But the only thing harder than being the world's most extraordinary dog... Sherman, no matter what challenges you face, no matter how far away I might seem... Bye, Mr. Peabody! I'm with you. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. I'm Christy, Alonzo, and Matt. We're talking about Mr. Peabody and Sherman, which I have not seen, despite being the one at the table who has a four-year-old, because we just got back from Mardi Gras. So I missed it. <laughs> You're a bad mom. I'm the worst mom ever. <laughs> so please talk about it. Okay. So based on the uh, old Jay Ward uh, cartoon from the from Rocky and Bullwinkle, uh, Mr. Peabody is the world's smartest dog, and Sherman is his boy. Um, I was dreading this movie because I don't like it when my childhood favorites get redone as big stupid Hollywood movies. But holy crap! Surprise! I liked this. Check it out. <laughs> the Petersons. She hates me. Make it work. Don't tell her about the way back. He calls it the way back. It's a time machine. Sherman, Penny, why are you two dressed like ancient Greeks? I lost her in ancient Egypt. And I got engaged to King Tut. Then we ran out of gas. In ancient Troy. You used the way back. And yeah, the ads looked terrible. The farting sphinx, like I was cringing. But I'm amazed it's good. I have to say, like there are there's a couple of sort of fart poop jokes, but they're clever and history and, and they're given okay. historical okay. context. <laughs> right. Oh good, that's all we need. No, but here's the thing, like this movie, yes, it throws in the scatological humor for kids. Right. But they're funny. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it's kind of shocking. The other thing that this movie does right is that it kind of nails the spirit of those characters that showed up in Peabody's Improbable History. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you get the bad, you know, the the really forced, hammy but kind of funny puns that that Peabody would do. He really would always end the episode with, yeah, right. Yes. And so those show up and. And he sells them. You know, they, there's the pause. Like, he knows it's coming. It's, he knows they're going to grow. It's right? voiced by Ty Burrell, who's yeah. been doing this on Modern Family for years. <laughs> so he knows the timing of that stuff. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I was surprised by how much I like this movie because, again, like you look at the the release date, yeah. you consider that this is based, you know, like the Smurfs, this is based on an old property that maybe nobody's really that interested and in. And the kids don't even know what it the is. The kids now. don't know right, what it right, is. Right. You know, these cartoons are fifty years old. This movie's great. <laughs> here's, here's what's exceptional about this movie. Uh, the thing that I always hate about the, the one that comes to mind is the uh, the Ron Howard live action Grinch movie. Yes, but, two thousand. Uh, yeah, from yes. But a lot of films of that ilk do where you take this very simple story and then suddenly. You have to blow it up and give the characters a backstory and create this third three act structure that's just meh. It does all <laughs> of that stuff really well. Like you actually give a shit about the time travel. You give a shit about Sherman and Peabody's adoptive parent relationship. <laughs> Right. Um, there's things at stake here. There's, th yeah, there's, there's things at stake. There's the the, the relationships matter. Uh, you you the characters aren't just these sort of two-dimensional cardboard gag machines. Like, their relationship is actually a key thing in the film, and they pull it off. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really smart about uh, the history that is put in this film. A lot of it is playing off of historical misconceptions. Like, there's a whole thing built around the fact that, that uh, Marie Antoinette never actually said, let them eat cake. Okay. There's a whole thing built around the fact that George Washington never actually cut down a cherry tree, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. So the movie is, is arguably even educational. We but can learn. it's yes. funny, and it is adult funny, not in, a, in an inappropriate way, but just in a smart way. Like. Uh, uh, Mr. Peabody at one point invites over the you know the the this kid at school who's been uh, uh, bullying Sherman and the girl's parents and he makes them cocktails. He says, "I call this the Einstein on the beach." <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's funny. It's, I laughed a lot and I was amazed at how much I actually cared about the story. It's sweet and it it's really good. Were there kids at your screening? There yeah. Were kids at the and screening. how did they react? Were they, they into laughed. it? They laughed. Okay. They weren't running up and down the aisle. There was good kid energy <laughs> in it. They yeah. were they were into it. Okay. Yeah. There's definitely some jokes in here that I think are going to go over the kids' heads. Oh, yeah, no question. Uh, but this is a funny movie. It's funny, and like you said, like the story works. There's things at stake for the characters. You buy the relationships. It's all, you know, it doesn't fall back on what a lot of kids' movies do, which yeah. is just pratfalls and stuff. They make a point about pratfalls in here. Like, it gets <laughs> oh, a little true. meta at that's times. That's funny. I think this is a fantastic, I think this movie is going to catch a lot of people off guard, and it's... Well, that's how I felt about the Lego movie, too. Yeah. I mean, it's so much better than you think I it's think going you to like be going into I it. I like this better than the Lego movie, because wow. I, like, I like the Lego movie not as much as you guys did. But in it's the same thing, in that you go in thinking, the Le like, right. a fucking a toy commercial? You know, <laughs> This one, you're thinking, oh, God, you're going to totally poop on my memories of Sherman and Peabody. And it, it's better than you think it's going to be. Now, I want to go take my kid to a matinee of this. Awesome. You have thoroughly sold me on this. Yeah, yes. this movie isn't wall-to-wall -wall laughs and zaniness like the Lego movie mm -hmm. is. 
it's smarter and it's a little bit more subtle, but I think it's just as good. Shocking. So what are your numbers? Shock I'm, us I'm all upping. your numbers. I'm going to go, I'm saying eight. Yeah, okay, I'm, yes. So I'm, you're both at eight. I'm going to up mine to wow. nine. Whoa. Wait, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, eight, so and eight and a half is our average yeah, here. Eight and a half. Amazing. And wow. On the tomato meter, it's up in the 70s. Who's been drunk at Mardi Gras all week? You guys are crazy. <laughs> I've seen the My movie. God. You've been all right. Here. All right. Um, so, 72% on the tomato meter. Um, wow. Go see it. Bye.